everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out here in the shop with yet another new video for you today. And in today's shop, we're gonna be talking about a technique that is brand new. We're gonna be talking about a hybrid technique that combines the best of two existing techniques to create something that the fish have not seen. Um, I gotta tell you that in my limited time using this, uh, less than a year using this bait, it's really making fish respond in a way that they, they won't to some of the old techniques. So this is a new technique, it's a hybrid technique, and it's making the bait do something that causes those fish to want to bite. And that, that's important, right? Especially when we're fishing tougher conditions or we're finesse fishing or it's clear water or it's smallmouth and everybody's throwing the same stuff. Having something different like this is going to be important. It's going to play a role. And in today's shop, we're talking about this brand new technique called Ned Swinging or the Swinging Ned Rig. All right, you, hold, you heard me talk about this as a hybrid technique. And it really is because in the swinging Ned or Ned swinging, we're combining the traditional Ned head style jig with swinging rugby or a, or a like biffle style, biffle bug style articulated hook, okay? So we're taking Ned rigging, we're combining that with the swinging rugby with a with a swing jig, right? And when you do that, you've got a Ned rig bait that has a hook that has freedom of movement, right? Guys, just don't listen to me, watch it. The way that the hook is positioned on this Ned head, it can go left, right, up, down, almost a 360 fluidity to that hook. And that's, the specialty of this bait, and, and we're gonna get into it. Um, let me start with some of the specifics. Launched this year at iCast. Click on the link in this video. We've got a link right to Tackle Warehouse. You could pre-order this bait. Um, and we've got a Ned head. It's called the VMC Swinging Ned Rig Jig, and it's available in super lightweights. So a 16th of an ounce, real super light, all the way up to a heavy one, like a 3 8 for some of that deeper water and when you really need to get it down, right? So a lot of sizes. We've got it in two great colors. My favorite, which is straight black, and then we've also got it in this bright chartreuse, which in, in net head fishing, sometimes that pop of color really becomes uh, an attraction point, okay? So VMC, if you look at it, it's this hook, this moving hook, articulated hook, is attached by a single attachment point. And that's really what gives its fluidity, right? So it's not fixed, but it's got range of motion. When we look at the jig head itself, it's traditional Ned style head, which I would call like almost like a gopher style head. A pointy, a little blunt, and it has a line tie that's 90 degrees, right? And you remember with the old Ned heads, 90 degree line tie, helps keep that bait horizontal, help keeps it straight and flat. When we're fishing a Ned rig, that's what we want, okay? And then here's the magic, guys, of this hook. When you look at the hook, they've utilized a VMC Finesse Nico hook on this, on this Ned head, okay? That hook is special. You've heard my videos about the chicken rig and Nico rigging and, and, and wacky rigging. And you know how much I love that Nico style hook. Well, we've got the finesse Nico on this and when they get hooked, 99.9% .9 of the time, when you hook them with that, they're not coming off. I love that. And you remember that finesse Nico has two little fluorocarbon little keeper barbs there. And that helps keep the plastic in place. Very, very important, okay? All right, so there's the, the head. Let's get to baits. 
The great thing about Ned swinging, or this swinging Ned head, is that the bait choice is endless. Guys, you could put on a worm, a small crawl, a little creature, a tube, whatever you want to put on, but especially great for your traditional Ned style lures, okay? These are two of the favorite baits that I've been using on this swinging Ned rig. Um, this is the Maxent, Berkeley Power Bait, Maxent Little General. You know a lot about this lure. It's basically a short, stubby, Ned style bait. It's got that Maxent in it, so I love that one. And then the other one that I'm loving with this swinging Ned head is the Berkeley Power Bait Water Bug. Uh, both sizes, the three and the four inch, um, little goby style looking uh, action, little tiny action tail on that water bug. Both of these are phenomenal on this new jig head. All right, I wanna show you two different rigging methods, okay? And we'll use these two baits to show you. So we've got our swinging uh, Ned jig by VMC. Let's do the first one where I thread it. So, so if I'm in open water, if I'm fishing flats, points, if I'm dragging on gravel, if they're on sand, you know, places where there's not a lot of cover, right? Uh, hard scrabble rock where I'm not getting snagged on stuff. I use an exposed hook. Okay, guys? So what I'm doing is I'm just threading it. And I always like the lighter side on the bottom, darker side on the top. Think about all prey or forage in the environment. The lighter side's always on the bottom, right? And guys, all I do is thread it. So I thread it through, I pop it out, and I push it up. Um, remember, that, that Finesse Nico has that little keeper barb. And look at that. Dude, it's on there. Look, it's not pulling off. You know, traditional Ned fishing, you, you have that bait pull off a lot. This is staying on there, okay? So exposed hook and then let me pull one of these out and I'll show you the other amazing method and remember because guys this is a finesse Nico hook I don't have to thread it okay the other way that I'm going to rig this bait is in situations where there is cover if I'm using the swinging Ned and there's cabbage grass eel grass sand grass millfoil hydrilla if I'm fishing this swinging net and there's sticks or scattered brush or, or something to snag on, guess what, guys? You ready? I just Texas rig it. So here's the water bug. You know the Texas rig. I'm going to push it in about eighth of an inch. I push it out. I go all the way past that keeper on that finesse, uh, finesse, Nico finesse hook, and I just bury the hook in the body. So now I've got a swinging Ned that's weedless, okay? And I love that one just as much. So threading, less cover, open water, Texas rigging, more cover, thick, heavy, nasty stuff, okay? All right, let's talk about what this articulated head does to the bait. Let's talk about why. This is better than a traditional Ned. Let's start with the traditional Ned. Here's a VMC Ned head, it's a good one. But look at it, when I throw it out there and boom, it hits the bottom, when I'm dragging it, it's just comes along the bottom with, with no real movement, right? Just almost like a stick coming across the bottom. You know, even if I shake it, the bait itself doesn't have much movement or action. It's very static. But that same bait, look, Max said, little general, same bait, on an articulated head, look at that side to side movement, right? So when I'm dragging it, instead of this bait just coming across the bottom like a stick, as I drag it, look what's happening, guys, left. Right, left, right. I pop it up, boom, the bait pops up, falls back down. 
So it, it's got extra movement. And listen, guys, the, the fish are eating stuff that's alive on the bottom. They very rarely pick up something dead that's laying on the bottom. So that little extra left and right movement, look at it. Up, down, left, right. Dude, that's really key to give that Ned style bait or whatever you put on the back a little more movement, okay? Great, great feature of that articulated hook on, on, when we're Ned swinging, okay? The second thing about this, this is a good one. Listen, guys, you ready? Because that hook has movement, if you're using a floating style plastic, by the way, the Powerbait Waterbug floats, okay? So if you're using a floating style plastic, whether it's the Waterbug or Elastec or Z-Man or whatever, whatever you're using, if that plastic floats, when you stop that Ned bait as you're dragging it, the floating material floats the hook, right? A floating bait on a heavy Ned head it's hard for that bait to stand up because it's connected. But now the hook is separate. The hook's light. So that articulation will allow the bait to float and stand up as you're dragging it. Guys, that's key. Key, 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 key. Super key. Key movement. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about, and then we're going to just get into real quick, the rod and reel, and, and generally how I fish it. But the last thing I love about this versus a traditional net head is landing more fish. Landing more fish. Not just because of that finesse Nico. Like, that style hook catches them. But the fact that the hook is free. Think about it. Ready? This is simple mathematics. Guys, I'm not a mathematician, but this is simple mathematics. On a net head where the head and the hook are one piece, especially on the heavier ones, eighth, three sixteenths, quarter, three eighths. That fish eats it, that fish jumps. He's got all the leverage of that heavy head and the hook connected to throw that bait. But now, because the hook's articulated, right? It's not connected, it's not one piece with the head. It's free. When that fish shakes, he can't gain the same leverage with a solid net head, right? So, so the swinging net head allows you to hook and land more fish. Okay, all right, a uh, rod and reel, guys, same exact rod and reel you're using on your net head fishing right now. Um, seven to seven and a half foot, you know, I really prefer a seven foot or a seven two medium action spinning rod. Remember, I don't want a medium light and I don't want a medium heavy, but a medium, straight medium, allows me to make long cast, the fish gets the bait, and I could get into them with enough backbone to land that fish, okay? Seven, seven and a half foot medium action spinning, a 20 or 30 or 2000 or 3000 style reel. I love that, that new Zenon by Abu Garcia is great. And then braid to a fluorocarbon leader. Guys, unless you're fishing a river with heavy current, braid to a fluor leader really allows you to make long cast, allows you to keep contact of the bait as it's on the bottom, and it allows you to get the hook sets on a long cast. So uh, I love 10 pound Berkley X5 white braid to, you know, a two to four foot leader of six to 10 pound Berkley Trilene. 100% fluorocarbon. Really love the eight, eight pound size on this. All right, last but not least, guys, let's talk about how to fish it. Real easy again, you ready? Fish it exactly how you've been fishing your Ned head. Let the bait and the hook, that, that swinging hook, activate the bait for you. So nine times out of 10, I'm casting, when I'm Ned swinging, I'm casting it out past the fish or past the cover. When it hits the bottom, I'm watching my line as it falls. Once out of every 30 casts, one will eat it on the fall. Once it hits the bottom, guys, I'm just dragging it. I like to keep this head in contact with the bottom, and I drag. Once I get to 
the, the point where I can't pull back anymore, I stop. Remember, articulate it. So when you pause, it's dragging, it's moving. When you stop, it's going to keep moving a little. If you're using the floating bait, when you stop, boom, the bait pops up. Once I hit that point, I, I reel my slack in real slow, wait a second, let it pause, and I start dragging it again. Guys, along that drag, anytime you feel it hit something, spongy, hard, whatever you, if you hit something, stop. Stop right there. Don't wait till you get to the end of the drag. So drag, stop. If you don't feel nothing, follow it back. Drag, stop, you don't feel anything. But if you start to drag and you get to right about here and it hits something, stop. I like to stop it. Again, let that hook work for you. When you stop, it's gonna go left, right. It's gonna float up. It's gonna do a lot of different movements, okay? Guys, this is a new hybrid technique combining Ned head fishing with the swinging jig or swinging rugby. Articulated Ned fishing, letting these baits do something traditional Ned head fishing doesn't. Try this Ned swinging technique. Try this brand new VMC jig head. You're gonna see for yourself why that action can make a difference. Guys, I hope you're enjoying these. This is an in the shop, man. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. We got a new piece of content dropping every single week. If you're already a subscriber, tell your fishing friends about Mike Iconelli fishing on YouTube. We're here to introduce you to new techniques and baits just like that. Uh, have a good one. Go Ned swinging. You're going to see the difference. Bye. Hey, everybody. Mike Iconelli. I hope you enjoyed this week's In the Shop. I hope you learned a little bit. And if you like these videos, remember, there's a whole boatload. Check out these two, and you're going to learn more about bass fishing.